Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and welcome to Articon 2019. As you can see behind me, there are a hundred and twin hundred and fourteen tables or something. Um, all prepped for a two hundred and twenty-eight participants from all across the world. You can see the flags up there. Um, we have so many tables set up, uh, but this will hopefully be enough um, walking around. So obviously, this won't go up until tomorrow morning. So I can I can pretty much show you this without surprise, uh, without ruining everyone for everyone. So this is the trophies, such lovely trophies, so cool. Um, so the doors haven't opened yet, uh, it's currently just before 8 in the morning, so I'm, uh, I'm just uh, having a gander and checking my streaming equipment, so we can see, yeah, we can have a look at the streaming setup, so hopefully this will be alright, I decided to drop uh, Chaos and Arda, so I'll be streaming today as well, uh, good morning, so we have, um, the professional studio camera with the smaller camera for the dice tray and then uh, we'll get some studio lighting in and we'll have uh, we'll have game stream on this uh, well recorded and then edited so but there will be some game streamed as well on the same table so that'll be me with a gyro stabilized uh, selfie stick <laughs> <coughs> so the the tables go all the way through um, so the whole entire venue has has tables <laughs> all the way up here so we have rebel base gaming in the house and they have loads of molding stuff and I think they took um, orders as well and they even have some old, old metal miniatures even our end golfing ball as well. There we go. He's there. So yeah, Rebel Base uh, seems like a fantastic gaming shop. Uh, they have a um, bigger paint tracker than we do. Damn it. And yeah, lots of lovely things. We have Middle Earth models setting up. Just behind me here, so they're setting up their beautiful train. Or you can see the Lake Town, the Lake Town boards. We'll do um, a bit more in-depth video on them uh, throughout the event. So yeah, that's basically it for now. I'm uh, I'm very excited to get going. And here we have the boss himself checking Tawny. Uh, calming his nose because he's a uh, technophobe <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the bed himself Andrew Cox yeah he's clever he's a technophobe yeah. <laughs> I stay well away yeah, yeah, I, 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 can I see wish some... I could I just feign ignorance so I don't have to do anything that's what it is <laughs> I can see some code on the computer as well so the probably just uh, changes the being made the morning of the event you know yeah, yeah, yeah nothing nothing, nothing major <laughs> so yeah um, I just filmed the hole and uh, just uh Show the people back home what's what. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's big. Lots of people. What do you think of these balloons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a balloon arch, and it's not really like it doesn't work for me. Oh, man. <laughs> but it's all about the brand. <laughs> but it, it works for Angela and, uh, and Rosie, though. It works yeah. for them. How's it been? Hey, Rosie. Same old, same old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll show you stuff throughout the day, like uh, interview with um, my opponent, stuff like that, so uh, we'll see you later. So I thought we'd take a look, uh, closer look at the trophies. So here you can see it's the single miniature participation 2019, best painted, second best painted. Got the army participation. Loads of cool trophies. You have some glass trophies as well for the Articon Doubles Most Sporting. And then, of course, a large row of different size trophies. Look at that. That is absolutely lovely. 
So yeah, we are just waiting. The big wait has begun for the hordes to just pile in through the uh, through the gaming hall. <laughs> Get ready, that's in about 40 minutes, so we're still doing the uh, last preparations here. But then again, I, I thought I'd use this opportunity to, uh, to take a bit of a closer look at, uh, at the people and the vendors already uh, making their presence felt in the uh, gaming hall. Or the international suite, I should rather say. So yeah. So as you can see, Rebel Base Gaming not only stocks uh, Mid-Earth and uh, other popular GW games, but also board games such as Battlestar Galactica, uh, from Fantasy Flight, Lord of the Rings Journeys into Mid-Earth, we have of course X-Wing, uh, loads more. All your painting needs can be fulfilled here at Articom. And uh, I wanted to have a closer look at, uh, at the, uh, the miniatures metal so they do have king of dead as well as 10 riders of dead very very nice also right against the brown kit we have nice rivendell and annette so and we do have gandalf the gray kit so these these items are only available through gw direct but of course certain independent stockies can get a hold of them so it's very nice for them to uh to include those because uh, because yeah it's nice to be able to get stuff like that especially from like if you don't live near a GW store and you have to pay import to just like in Norway it's uh, it's good to, to be able to buy these metal minis um, and not wait until uh, to like yeah you can get by the local GW in uh, elsewhere and there is Matt Davies Hello. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah? Uh, yes. Um, so, of course, Generation Shift, uh, producer of fantastic resin bases. I believe he's made 26 or something new bases for this event. So, loads of bases over there. Loads of bases over there. It's really good. Uh, Middle Earth models are getting their kit out. And I have to tell you a story about this um, lovely board of the Shire. So this is a silent auction uh, gaming board and all proceeds of, of this uh, gaming board, well all money actually, not just the proceeds, go to the support Dave Fredericks and Deb. Uh, of course Dave Fredericks uh, of Shadow and Flame, um, his wife is, is ill. So they've set up a small, uh, small charity uh, donation for fame, as well as the Articon raffle will go uh, to uh, to those two as well to to help pay for yeah um, treatments and stuff like that. So very, very generous by the community to rally behind their uh, their friends. For the first time ever, this lovely book, Mid Earth Models How To Series. I have the first one, this one, the Rock Formations. But they will be releasing the deciduous trees um, this uh, this uh, weekend. It'll cost you twelve pounds for the new one because it looks a bit larger. <laughs> and uh, the Rock Formations book is ten pounds. Lovely Bayon is here. And yeah, the, the fantastic Lake Town. The absolutely fantastic Lake Town. I would love to have a game of that. Just like that. Look at the streets. The master's house. Just the quality of the honest flows and everything is beautiful. And we also have a big board of the Pelennor Fields with. Uh, with a crazy amount of casualties all over the place. Even a great piece of Gorgoroth. I'm having to plan a great piece of Gorgoroth on. Just, just a great piece of Gorgoroth. Sounds so much fun. Are these your models? Yeah? 
the Pelham or Fields. There was a lot of bodies there. I know, yeah. <laughs> Both yeah. alive and dead. Yeah, that looks wonderful. All right. So if we just quickly walk inside, we should see a gathering crowd. So lovely balloon arches. And we have PMG manning the booth. Hey, how are you going? All good. And yeah, so far, like half a dozen mid gamers are getting ready for the tournament. I believe most of them are at the bar, I think. In the bar, getting the stuff ready. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you more once the crowds get ready to storm in. We'll probably try to get that on camera. Good morning! Here come the hordes! <laughs> Everyone's checked in, right? Yeah, yeah. Hello, man. How are you? How are you? Hey! How are you? How are you doing? Morning! Hello. Good. Yeah, good. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Excited? How was that? Yeah. Great. Welcome. Good morning. Here come the uh, the Dutch hordes. Yes. Invasion. All 23 of you. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, Tommaso. Good morning. Sleep well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I like the jacket. Hey, Ed. Are you ready? Uh, I need bed. You need I'm, bed? I'm, I'm half asleep. <laughs> hey! Good morning. Hey, morning, man. Nice to Morning. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hey, Harry. Hi, Scott. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. Everyone's ready to write. Yeah. We're ready for you. Okay. Ja, jeg skal pekke det ut for deg. Jeg vet hvordan Crispin ser ut, men ja, vi skal pekke det ut for deg. Morning! You all checked in, right? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Morning! All right, so I'm back in the hotel room after... 12 hours of, of filming games so uh i i couldn't really film uh anything for the journey vlog while i was down in the hall uh because it was all streaming games and um and then uh taking notes on the seminar and then making a stream about that doing interviews stuff like that so and between that charging my phone changing batteries and everything and yeah so to to uh, just uh, get you through this after I filmed the hordes of people uh, coming through the door, we um, basically had a chaos and order. For those of you who don't know what chaos and order is, that is basically a four way um, of SPG, five hundred points per side, with the objective of taking as fluffy lists as possible. So um, so yeah, it it. It's a very, very nice like icebreaker at a tournament. Uh, it's it's designed such as like there are objective cards. So there's a card deck made by DCHL. It should be mentioned by the whole that the whole concept of Chaos and Art was invented by Devin and the guys over at the DCHL in the United States. And um, and they they actually made a very very nice card pack, like professionally made card pack, um, with like plastic playing card quality of the cards uh, which you can buy 
from the CHL Devin. So just send him a message, uh, Devin Moreno, if you uh, message him on Facebook, you can get your card pack. Um, I think they're like £10 each. But they're quite worth it because we're going to go out at the event as like a two hour icebreaker before the tournament starts, especially if you have new players just starting out and not knowing the tournament scene or the people in the tournament scene it could be very very nice to to just do uh so while that was going on i live streamed the uh spg masters uh first round and we had a poll and um norway versus australia was the the match that people wanted most to see so obviously um kylie from Australia had um, were in that uh, tournament um, and she she came in second at Articon in the Open last year so obviously I wanted to follow her and see how she did um, from Norway we had Sebastian who represented us and uh, yeah they had a cracking match uh, it is available on the stream, uh, well, on the channel, so you can go and watch that round one. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's a great game to, to watch. Sadly, Norway lost. So I was uh, faced with an option, uh, well, a uh, not an option, but a opportunity, because I really, really wanted to continue streaming, uh, to have interesting matchup, especially when Finland beat out Ed Ball in the first game. Um, I really wanted to see uh, Adrian's army and how it would do against Jake from the United States who won against Belgium. So I asked Sebastian if he would like to take my place uh, um, in doubles, being Torgais or Too Far's doubles partner. So so yeah, he would. And they had a wonderful time uh, from what I hear from it. So for the next six hours plus breaks, I filmed um i filmed so first i filmed jake uh from the united states versus uh finland and adrian won magnificently um that game is also available on the stream uh or on the channel and uh and after that um there was so it was either was it not France. Yeah, so it was either Spain versus uh, Australia for the third game in the semi-finals, or it was J versus J versus yeah J versus Adrian, of course, yeah, uh, versus Finland. So, so we, we picked uh, Kylie versus Spain. So, and the reason for that is because if, if Adrian won against Jay, that would be three times in a row he would have been on stream. So we picked Kylie versus, um, versus Spain. Um, and Arion from, from the Spanish team represented them in the Masters tournament. And, and yeah, uh, that was a great game as well. <laughs> so and Kylie won again so that meant and since Jay beat Adrian in the semi-finals it would be a rematch from Articon last year for the final which is absolutely fantastic so that was streamed and that was a fantastically played game by Kylie so congratulations to the new uh, North SPG Masters champion Kylie of the Green Dragon podcast representing Australia. So directly after that, we had the SPG team uh, from Forge World and Game Switch up doing a uh, a um, a seminar. Obviously, that couldn't be streamed uh, because they are showing pictures uh, and and yeah. No cameras were allowed, but I took notes and I made a video about that, and uh, that's also available on the channel. So now I grab my gear, put stuff that needs charging into its charges, and now I'm going to have some food and a beer or 15 because I'm knackered. 
I should go to bed, but I'm having some food and some beers first. So that's it for today's content. Uh, as you are watching this tomorrow morning, since this will be released in the morning, um, oh, I just might release it today. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, I will not be streaming any games. Uh, because I'm playing in the uh, SPG Open tournament. So I'll be recording the games and then editing that footage when I get home to uh, to then be able to, to upload to the channel later with commentary, with the dice camera, with pictures and pictures and, and all that stuff. Uh, so I'll, I'll be doing my best to have very good quality games and try to get good good games on stream. Uh, but then, obviously, later on in the evening, the um, the SPG magazine team, Tom and Damien, will be doing a uh, a seminar, and that will be streamed uh, as well. So there will be streams tomorrow. I'll probably do a few bits and pieces here and there, and I'll also be doing a journey vlog uh, with results on my games and stuff like that throughout the day. So fear not, there will be content. Uh, so so yeah. Thank you for watching uh, the channel today. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. And do consider supporting SDF on Patreon using the link in the description below. And as ever, support your hobby.